Oscar winning actor Kevin Spacey found not guilty today on sexual assault charges in a London court. He was charged with nine counts of sexual assault relating to four men between 2001 and 2013, including multiple counts of sexual and in indecent assault. Three of the men claimed Spacey aggressively grabbed them by the crotch. Fourth man, an aspiring actor, claimed Spacey invited him to his apartment and performed a sex act on him while he was asleep. So now, in addition to two other cases that were dropped or dismissed, does that mean he will, he can, he should now work in Hollywood again? Here's what Spacey said outside the court today. I imagine that many of you can understand uh, that there's a lot for me to process after what has just happened today. But I would like to say that I'm enormously grateful to the jury for having taken the time to examine all of the evidence and all of the facts carefully before they reach their decision. And I am humbled by the outcome today. Spacey's four-week trial grabbed global headlines. Elton John, his husband, testified in Spacey's defense in an attempt by his team to cast doubt on one of Spacey's accusers. Spacey took the stand in his own defense to tearfully deny the charges, telling jurors, my world exploded, there was a rush to judgment, and before the first question was asked or answered, I lost my job, I lost my reputation, I lost everything in a matter of days. In 2019, Spacey saw charges dropped and dismissed in criminal and civil cases in Massachusetts and California. So legally speaking, Kevin Spacey currently has a clean slate, at least for now, with two civil cases still pending. But will that be enough? After all, it doesn't necessarily mean none of it happened. And there have been many other allegations that never went to any court. When the initial allegations emerged back in 2017, Spacey quickly went from a Hollywood darling to an outcast, erased from Ridley Scott's All the Money in the World, released in December of 2017 with Christopher Plummer, reshooting his scenes as billionaire John Paul Getty, axed from his Golden Globe winning role as scheming politician Frank Underwood in the Netflix political drama House of Cards. And last year, Spacey and his production companies ordered to pay the makers of the show $31 million to make up for losses incurred due to his firing following explosive, what they called, allegations of sexual misconduct against crew members. Joining me now is Laura Conlon, entertainment reporter and podcaster, has been following this story closely. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. So does this mean he should, will work in Hollywood again? Thanks for having me, Dan. Look, Hollywood is pretty forgiving to men. I hate to say it, but... I also want to say, I also want to point out, Dan, that I stalked his IMDb and he's working. He was just in Billionaire Boys Club. He did a movie with Faye Dunaway in 2022. And in his upcoming projects, there are three projects. Something about this verdict just doesn't sit right with me. I think it's the fact that he's this Oscar winning actor on the stand being so tearful and the jury is on the edge of their seats. I read an AP that at one point he had the jury laughing. At one point they actually had to rein him in for going completely off topic. So I have to say, I think he's gonna win Hollywood over again. I don't agree with it because like you said, at least 20 men came forward at, at one point in this. And I just, I think it's so terrible and just so sad that they kind of have to go along with their life knowing that he's just walking free and that he's going to get uh, parts in other movies. There's there's no way around it. I mean, Hollywood is very unpredictable right now. But Look, yeah, when everything's cleared up, I feel like he'll be back in the mix. Because, because this is a statement from a place where he was the artistic director um, from 2004 to 2015 called The Old Vic. The Old Vic today... This is from 2017. Released its conclusions following an investigation into allegations concerning Kevin Spacey's conduct when he was artistic director of the Old Vic between 20, 2004 and 2015. The investigation resulted in 20 personal testimonies shared of alleged inappropriate behavior carried out by Kevin Spacey during his time as artistic director. Um, you know, his response is going to be uh, that when it comes to courtroom activity, that in each case it's either been dismissed, it's been... Uh, dropped or he's been found mm -hmm. not guilty. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. But it doesn't change the fact that he's in a position of power and these men are not. 
He's won Academy Awards. He went on the stand. And, you know, these men are, are struggling actors, so to speak. They looked up to him. This, I, I just, I don't agree with this. And I used to love Kevin Spacey, Dan. And I have a hard time separating this. I don't think I'm going to be able to watch another Kevin Spacey movie again. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.